Start with the unit away from the wall. Assemble the framing kit in the following order as shown. Move the unit into position. Check that the unit is level. Ensure the unit is level along its front, as well as along both sides. It is also important to ensure that the wall behind the unit is plumb. You can adjust the height of the unit by rotating the four leveling feet using the supplied wrench. Secure the framing to the wall to a minimum of three wall studs using appropriate fasteners. You can now remove the unit's lower front panel to access connections for gas and electrical. Install venting before proceeding. Insert a screw halfway into the location shown. Hang the first sidewall in place by hooking the two screws through the keyholes as shown and tighten each screw. Add a second screw to secure it in place. Repeat this process for the other side. Install the following parts as shown. Raise the upper section of the side walls to your desired height. The total height can be set anywhere from 80 inches to 120 inches. To set a custom height, Fix the side walls in place using self-tapping screws. If installing the optional finishing panel kit, locate the preset height for the finishing panel kit. Then fix the side walls in place using two screws each in the locations shown. Off to one side, fix the remaining part B to the two O's using one screw each and rotate them inwards. Fix this assembly to the framing as shown. Secure to a minimum of three wall studs. Install the following parts as shown.
position the first bottom cover so that its edge lines up with the edge of the unit. Fix the bottom cover to the unit with two screws. Repeat for the other side. For complete instructions on installing and servicing Regency fireplaces, download the manual from regency-fire.com.